So in this we, uh, video, we will look at uh, hydrometer and uh, as always solve a couple of questions uh, after we understand the theory. So I'm giving a brief recap of the concept of a hydrometer. We know that the hydrometer is used to measure the density of a liquid. So if you have a liquid, you want to find out its density, you use a hydrometer. And the process is something like this. We take the hydrometer and let us say this is the hydrometer of uh, length L, right? So the total length of the hydrometer, let us say, is is this is the total length hydrometer, and it also has a bulb over here, but I'm not showing the bulb over here, and it will have a certain weight which is acting in the downward direction. So what we'll do first is take this hydrometer, put it inside water, and find out this length L1 to which the hydrometer gets immersed. So this length L1 is the length of the hydrometer which is immersed when it is placed in water. And we choose water because we know the density of water is 1 gram per centimeter cube. So first I find out the immersed length in a liquid of known density. Now if I use the concept of uh, flotation, the hydrometer is floating, so I can write down the weight of the float the hydrometer is equal to up thrust and therefore uh, Vb rho B is equal to Vi rho F. Now volume of the hydrometer will be the length L into the cross section area A into density of the hydrometer. Immersed volume will be the immersed length L1 into cross section area A into rho F. And rho F in this case will be 1 because we have chosen water as a liquid. A will get cancelled out and therefore I will get L into rho B is equal to L1. And therefore, I will be able to find out the density of the hydrometer which will turn out to be L1 by L. So, by first placing it in water and finding out the immersed length, we get the density of the density of the hydrometer like this. Okay. Now, we will take the same hydrometer and place it inside a liquid whose density we want to find out. So, this is the liquid whose density we want to find out and it is placed inside this liquid. And let's say it goes up to depth L2. So, in this case, the depth is L2. The length of the hydrometer is L, the weight of the hydrometer is W, but since the liquid has a different density, let us say it goes up to depth L2. I have shown over here that it has gone deeper into the liquid, but it's possible that it may not go deeper. It may go up to a length uh, L2, which is lesser than L1. But in this case, I have taken L2, which is longer than L1. So again, if I use this equation, W is equal to Fp, I'll get again Vb rho B is equal to Vi rho F. Length of the hydrometer A rho B is equal to Vi. Now, Vi will be L2 A rho F. In this case, rho F we want to find out. L2 is the length to which it is immersed in this liquid. A will get cancelled out. I'll get L rho B is equal to L2 rho F. Now, if I take the value of rho B as L1 upon L and place it over here, rho B, this value, I place over here in place of rho B, I'll get L into L1 by L is equal to L2 rho F. L gets cancelled out and I'll get rho F, the density of the liquid is L1 by L2. And with this, we can find out the density of the liquid. Please note, L1 is the length immersed in water. So, length immersed in water and length immersed in the given liquid. So, if I get these two, I can find out the density of the liquid. So, essentially, this is the concept. That the density of the liquid is length immersed in water upon length immersed in liquid. Let us take a question. Let us uh, solve question number one. The so question number says a test tube of constant weight of length 10 centimeter. So L is 10 centimeter, the total length of the test tube sinks to a depth of 5 centimeter in water. So this is the depth to which it sinks in water. So L1 is 5 centimeter. To what length will it dip in a liquid of relative density 1.25?
relative density is 1.25. Now we know that if the relative density is 1.25 of that liquid, density of the liquid is 1.25 grams per centimeter cube. So we know rho f, we know L1 and we have been asked to find out to what length will it dip in the liquid. So we have been asked to find out L2 is to be found out. So I can use this equation rho f is equal to L1 by L2. Therefore, L2 is equal to L1 by rho f. L1 is 5, rho f is 1.25 and this will give me a value of 4 centimeter. So it will immerse to a length of 4 centimeter or depth of 4 centimeter. Let's look at the second question. It says a test tube loaded with lead shots floats to mark X in water. So let me draw a rough diagram. Let's say this is the container in which we have water and the test tube. So this is the test tube. It floats up to mark X. Let's say this is the mark X on the test tube. So it floats up to this much length. What this length is we don't know but there is a marking on the test tube. This is the marking. It floats up to that. The test tube along, the test tube along with the lead shot weighs 25 GF. So W is 25 GF. When the test tube is floated in brine. So that means what we are doing is we are now putting it in a brine. So let me draw another diagram over here. This was water. Now in brine what happens? It is given that when the test tube is floated in brine, 5 GF of lead shots were added to make it float up to level X. So what is happening over here is, it is floating up to the same level in this particular case. Or to make it float up to the same level, that is up to mark X. That means the immersed length is same. 5 GF are to be added to this. That means the weight of the hydrometers become 30 GF in this case because 5 GF is added. 25 GF was the original weight. 5 GF has been added. So this becomes 30 GF. Find the relative density of the brine. So what we'll do is we'll look at these two cases and again apply the same concept. Weight is equal to upthrust. So in this case, weight is 25 GF is given to us. Fb is Vi rho F. We know density of water is 1, so Vi into 1, 25. Therefore, immersed volume is 25 centimeter cube. So in this case, this much volume which was immersed inside this liquid is 25. Now, in a second case also, it is immersed up to the same length x. Therefore, Vi in this case is also 25 centimeter cube. So I can use Vi as 25 in this case. So again, W is equal to Fb. Weight is 30 GF now is equal to Vi rho F. Vi is same as this case. So I will write 30 is equal to 25 into rho F. This is 25. And therefore rho F is equal to 30 by 25. And this will give me a value of 1.2 grams per centimeter cube. And that would mean the relative density is 1.2. So this is question number 2. Let's now look at question number 3. So in this case uh, we have been given this situation. It is given that the length of a stem of a hydrometer is 10 centimeter. That means if this is a hydrometer its total length as I shown over here from here to here is 10 centimeter. And the volume of this uh, is and the volume of the stem is 10 centimeter cube. This volume of the stem is 10 centimeter cube while floating in pure water. So I just, let's refer to the first diagram. When it is floating in pure water, it sinks to the 5 centimeter mark. The total length is 5 centimeter. So the immersed length, that means this, the immersed length is also 5 centimeter. So 5 cm inside and 5 cm outside. The mass of the hydrometer is 200 gram. The mass of the hydrometer is 200 gram. What will be the density of the liquid in which the hydrometer sinks 
to the top of the stem. So I have shown this in the second example. This is liquid one in which it sinks up to the top of the stem. So this entire hydrometer is inside this liquid. This is the level of the liquid and it sinks entirely to the top. And the second case we have to point, find out is sinks to the bottom of the stem. So it sinks to the bottom of the stem. That means only this bulb is inside water. The entire stem is outside water. And we have to find out the densities of liquid 1 and liquid 2. In all the cases, the weight of the stem, the weight of the entire hydrometer is going to be 200 g. That is not changing. So this I will show as 200. Okay. So let's look at the first case. In this case, we have been given water, so we know the density. Now W is equal to FB as always, and therefore 200 will be equal to VI rho F is equal. To. Now what is the immersed volume in this case? Immersed volume is the volume of this bulb plus the this much volume, the volume of 5 centimeter. So in volume of the bulb plus the volume of the stem. It has been given that the volume of the stem is 10 centimeter cube. So if it is half it is immersed, it will be 5 centimeter cube. The total volume of the stem is 10 centimeter cube. So half will be 5 centimeter cube. Rho F is 1 because we are talking of water and therefore 200 is equal to volume of the bulb plus 5 and therefore I will get volume of the bulb to be 200 minus 5, 195 centimeter cube. So with this data which was given with, respect, with reference to water, I have found out the volume of the bulb. Now let's make let's look at the second case. In this case, the entire hydrometer is immersed inside the liquid. So again, W is equal to FB. So 200 is equal to immersed volume. Now immersed volume is how much? The entire volume of the bulb plus the entire stem. Volume of the bulb is 195. Volume of the full stem is 10 given to us into rho f. So rho f will be 200 and this will be 205. So if I solve this, I will get the density of the liquid to be 0 0.976 gram per centimeter cube. We will use the same concept over here. In this case, the immersed volume is only the volume of the bulb. The entire stem is outside. So W is equal to FP. So 200 is equal to immersed volume is volume of the bulb which is 195 into rho f. Therefore rho f is equal to 200 over 195 and that will give me density of the fluid is equal to which will give me approximately value of 1.025 grams per centimeter cube. So this is how we can find out the densities of the two given liquids. Thank you.